Hey guys, it's Evasion. It's been a while since we've uploaded any Windwalker material, and with the recent 5% nerf to Windwalker skills, it's time to man up and dust off that Windwalker. In this video, I'll be going over talents, glyphs, and stat priority to help you dominate your opponents in PvP in 6.2. First off, I'll go over my talent choices. These are my default talents. I say this because as Windwalker, we fortunately have options and can somewhat utilize our ability to change talents in Arena. For tier 1 talents, you want to be going with Tiger's Lust. The reason for this is the on-demand root breaker and mobility is invaluable and it can be used on teammates making for a great support ability. Although Celerity can be nice versus teams without roots and does well paired with Chi Torpedo, you're usually going to want the sprint from Tiger's Lust. Momentum on the other hand is not practical as it promotes using both roles back to back which we usually don't want to do. For tier 2 talents, your talent choice can either be Chi Wave or Chi Burst. I almost always take Chi Wave as it is instant cast and does solid damage and healing considering its low 15 second cooldown and it being free. Up until a recent patch, Chi Wave was the only option, but they substantially increased the damage of Chi Burst making it a viable option as well. This talent can do solid burst damage during Tiger's Eye Brew, its only drawbacks being that it has a short 1 second cast and having double the cooldown of Chi Wave. Either option is fine, but I would suggest testing each in Battlegrounds or Skirmishes for yourself and seeing which playstyle suits you. Zen Sphere also received a buff in a recent patch, but its scaling for Windwalkers is horrible and it should not be taken, ever. For tier 3 talents, I'd recommend taking Chi Brew. The reason why this talent is so valuable is because it greatly reduces the time it takes to become a threat as you can have anywhere from 4-7 to seven stacks right out of the gate, thanks to Windwalkers Mastery. Even though this is, in my opinion, the best option, it does receive some competition from Ascension, which can be nice in longer games where you're just training damage into people. I'd mostly save this option for 2v2 when you're stuck playing with a healer. Power Strikes overall isn't valuable enough and I find it to be inferior to the other two options here. Alright, tier 4 talents. Here I recommend taking Leg Sweep by default as it's the longest duration AoE stun in the game. This talent is really nice for setting up bursts or CC chains depending on the situation. Although it's the best option and should almost always be taken, Ring of Peace is actually very powerful in BGs when you're trying to be a hero with those 1vx situations. Be aware, however, that it does DR with your paralysis. Charging Ox Wave is in my opinion the least used talent here, but is somewhat useful as it can be used to CC distant off targets long enough for a teammate to land maybe a trap, a fear, or a polymorph. The somewhat slow flight time of the spell can make this difficult to use though, and overall just stick with Leg Sweep. For tier 5 talents, I'd recommend Healing Elixirs. This talent provides a small but useful defensive heal that can go off during CC when you're low on HP or an on-demand heal whenever you use a brew. I'd keep Healing Elixirs versus any physical damage based team such as KFC, Jungle Cleave, or Thug Cleave, and swapping to Diffuse Magic for any Wizard based team such as God Comp, MLD, or LSD. Diffuse Magic is a 90% damage reduction which can be useful offensively as well as defensively as it redirects the magic effects removed from you to their casters, for example, those instant roots produced by Druid's Barkskin or a Mage's Ice Nova. I personally like Diffuse Magic better, but I'm still going to use Healing Elixirs by default, at least for now. For Tier 6 talents, I'm going to be using the White Tiger, at least until they fix the roll bug. In short, the roll bug makes it so that Chi Torpedo is unaffected by our Drainer Perk Enhanced Roll. This makes it so that when we jump and roll, which is something monks do to make use of the nice damage provided by Chi Torpedo, we still end up overshooting the target as our Chi Torpedo takes 25% longer to complete. Blizzard has acknowledged this and it should be fixed soon, hopefully. That being said, when this does get fixed, I will by default be taking Chi Torpedo as it can provide some very nice burst damage as well as increasing the length of our rolls. Rushing Jade Wind is weak right now as we don't have enough energy regen due to the low haste levels of the early expansion. This talent may be used later in the X-Pack as it is useful for extra damage during burst and having a very small cooldown. The White Tiger still provides nice damage as well, but its drawback being that it's on a long cooldown of 3 minutes, and it'll break any CC that can get its paws on. Lastly, the tier 7 talents. I'm usually going to be taking Hurricane Strikes as it provides some potentially high burst damage, as well as a 2 second immunity to loss of control effects such as fear, and has a relatively low cooldown of 45 seconds. Chi Explosion is a very nice alternative if you're playing something like Monk Clock Shaman and you're trying to cleave everything down with Storm Earth and Fire. The reason I don't like Chi Explosion as much is because it slows down your rotation quite a bit and it leaves you with more periods of standing around doing nothing. That being said, it's most commonly used talent among other higher rated Windwalkers, 
Serenity, on the other hand, is another burst talent, but I believe it's outshined by the other two options here as it has double the cooldown of Hurricane Strikes and doesn't provide any immunity. If it goes uncontrolled by your opponent, however, this ability can still be very lethal. Now on to Glyphs. There's not a lot to say here, but these are the default Windwalker Glyphs. It kind of sucks as I feel some of these should be baseline. We unfortunately have 4 Glyphs that we need and only 3 Glyph slots. They are Touch of Death, Touch of Karma, and Paralysis, and our fourth is Freedom Roll. All four of these glyphs are simply quality of life glyphs and make our job as a Windwalker easier. I believe the only glyph you can swap out for Freedom Roll is Glyph of Paralysis, but that heavily depends on your comp. If you're playing a comp with a lot of dots, you can't really afford to switch out Glyph of Paralysis, which is why having three glyph slots sucks. Lastly, I'll go over the stat priority. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's not a whole lot of options in terms of what we can choose for our gear since the release of patch 6.2, but hopefully when we're able to get into our epic gear of next season, we'll have a little bit more option. The stat priority you should follow should look like this. Versatility over multi-strike, over haste, over crit, over mastery. If you find yourself usually playing Chi Explosion, you may want to prioritize Haste over Multi-Strike as the higher energy regen can allow you for a more smooth rotation. Basically, as far as enchants go for now, just put versatility on everything and for your weapon enchant, either go with Mark of Warsong or Mark of Frostwolf. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I sincerely hope you find this guide useful. If it was useful for anyone, it was worth it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below as I'd like to make one for Rogue and maybe Feral as well as expand onto other topics like burst setup or positioning. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like as it helps me out greatly. Also if you're interested in more, please subscribe. My channel content is usually WoW Arena related, with larger projects usually being focused on world PvP or duels, that sort of thing. Anyway, till next time.